Hi everyone. Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. FTP, File Transfer Protocol, is a service that allows the transfer of files between a server and a client system over a TCP IP network. The FTP protocol, usually running on port 21, allows a user to either upload or download files from an FTP server. In this guide, you will learn how to install and configure an FTP server in Windows VPS or dedicated server manually. First of all, log into the server as an administrator. Please refer to how to connect VPS via RDP at the link we put on the screen for more details. As with any Windows Server system from 2012 and onwards, to add any feature using the GUI, you need to begin from the Server Manager. So, on the Server Manager window, click on Add Roles and Features. The next preflight check window reminds you to first set a strong administrator account password and set a static IP, so click on the Next button below to proceed with the installation process. In the next window, you will be prompted to select the installation type. Click on the role-based or feature-based option and click Next. In the next window, click on the server that you are installing the FTP on. Usually, this is the server that you're currently working on. Enter the NetBIOS name, the IP address, and the operating system type. Select the server and click Next. Next, check off the Web Server IIS, option. When expanded, check off the FTP Server option, which constitutes the FTP service and FTP extensibility. Then click Next. On the next window, your selections will be confirmed. Click on Install to start the installation. The installation will then begin and after completion, click on the Close button. At this point, you have successfully installed your FTP server. The next step is to configure your server for the transmission of files. On the Server Manager, click on Internet Information Services, IIS, Manager. On the next window, click on your server system on the left sidebar. This reveals a pane at the center. Under FTP, click on FTP Firewall Support. Next, define a range of ports and click Apply. Now go back and right-click on your Windows Server and click on Add FTP Site. Provide your preferred site name and specify the path to the FTP directory. Next, define the bind address settings. Type your server's IP or public IP address. For a start, you can select no SSL, but for future purposes, ensure to use SSL by clicking on allow SSL. Finally, select the authentication type as basic and also select all users and assign read and write permissions. The FTP site is now ready. On the firewall settings, allow port 21, which by default is used by FTP. And that's how you install and configure an FTP server on a Windows 2019 server.